Yo, what's going on, everybody? What is going on? It's your boy Francisco Phoenix, the Rolling Stoner, back with my special guest in this building, y'all. Rez Loren, y'all. Hey, thank you for coming through. I appreciate you. Thank yes, you. Thank of you. course. Hell yeah. So, <laughs> rolling with the Rolling Stoner. This is chapter 117, man. You know, we got another dope fire ass playlist. And of course, we're going to dive into some questions, you know, chop it up a little bit, you know. So. Excited. You cool with the uh, you know the format and everything? Yeah, Ready to get going? Absolutely. Hell yeah! Thanks hell for having yeah. me. Of course, of course. So, man, dope artists out here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, you know, I really want to dive into you know uh, your actual music and like you know what was the creative process. Uh, let me go ahead and start off with the mantra before I light up and everything, and then we're gonna jump into a song and yeah, chop it up. Hell yeah! Cool. All right. So <clears throat> before I spark up. We intake this smoke not to abuse, but to heal the body, elevate the mind, uplift and enlighten the soul and spirit. Gut, mind, and heart. With that being said, Rez Lauren, let's go ahead and jump into the first track for the people, all right? For sure. So, all right. <clears throat> this is coming from your first project, right? Yes, I wanted to pick the first project just because it's it it's, it's the first one, and it's, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. closest to my heart, I would say, out of the two. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So... This first track that we're going to uh, jump into, this is called Phoenix. We're actually going to do Warfare first. Oh, you want to do Warfare Yeah, I'll do okay. Warfare. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about it. Puffer pass, sip and pour, all right? Shit. Okay, cool. The world will go up in flames. It's going to be warfare. Mystify the water walkers talk about, I promise. Aha, uh -huh, talk or preach love, hmm, that's what they wanted. All night, day long, why it took six summers. Took a smucker to the lips, took a talker undercover. Cause talking triggers, cock and trip, these wise that words could clip. Be surgical survivors while we in this bitch. Happens that the happenstance, unhappy, having habit fits. In fact, the facts you gotta face within the face what's happened. Sorry that you had to, or practice made you mad. Mad is not what's in your hand and cavities of action. After allies tally up the targets, talking, get back. Big up a dip a dock a pick a finally pick back. To the picky pickets, fuck the big fat. Tell it like it is, a little bit of we could trick that. What you did to him, you'll never get back. Split map, karma coming faster than the whiplash. Sit back, listen when you preach to me like jib jab. Rip, I got some letters, I don't miss, you got my syntax. Tell me, Miss Meridian, you rarely in the synonym. But sell us on a soul the way you multiply the vision. Ain't inside your prison system, but the world had its mission. With the way it made your vision, and to fix that. No chit chat or knick knack, suck a sock with big bat and big heads. We split that. Already know this been facts. Aftermath of Adam, we go click clack some riff raps. Growing up on that piff, we did that. And we don't gotta talk about the problem much more. It's obvious you're all up on the dollar. I'm bored. I'm all up on the water. What we falling down for? Sun source, sci-fi, go and swallow that door. And we could if we wanna make a problem. What for? It's obvious we're only talking while the time's for. All up on the water, make them hollow high horse. Sun source, sci-fi, go and swallow that door. Planes won't let you get a break then, break dance Man, we cut them off with a knife, fuck a fake friend Face what you make, make a made man, take back Shit he said he wasn't too great at Flame, shake down, shake hand Craters in the grave land, graveyard Groceries going gray, really paid that Motor model, teeny tiny tools in a wasteland That's how you look to the make man Say, what's your name? You remind me of a great man Make us make a lot of noise, save your say to save them Silly little bitch Who's the greatest in the wake of all the watered down rain it? Highly unapologetic, how without a way said I'm really like a daughter on a date. Taught her all she knows, yeah, right. Mother, what you thought she laid low like a lady who believed there's really pain inside the stakes. Brave, no, change, hope, faithful, fame, no. Nickel to the nitty gritty, knuckles to the tank. Tyler never came, but the rainbow brought the rain. Now they're calling death to what we came for. Great. And we don't gotta talk about the problem much more It's obvious you're all up on the dollar, I'm bored I'm all up on the water, what we falling down for Sun source, sci-fi, go and swallow that door And we could if we wanna make a problem, what for? It's obvious we're only talking while the time's for All up on the water, make them hollow high horse Sun source, sci-fi, go and swallow that door Everybody trying to dream 
And everybody got somebody dead We're just trying to find it in between Put a price on my head Cause everybody's on somebody's team And everybody got somebody dead Thank the Lord that I got what I need So let me dream <laughs> yo, <laughs> warfare, man. Res Loren, yo, <clears throat> that was called, uh, the the tape was anti anti fake anti fake yeah. anti fake man. Please, yo, dive man. Warfare, yo, what? <laughs> Cause that beat was cold, man. Like you know, what I mean, Where, where'd you get where'd you get the beat from? And like you know, what was the mindset? You know, warfare. Like, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. Um, the beat uh, was produced by Lano Beats. He's okay. in Arizona. Really, really talented producer. Yeah. Um, up until this composition, I had I always just scour the internet and like uh, find super cool yeah, yeah, yeah. hole in the wall producers and um, <laughs> and but that also is interesting because my process for writing I usually write before I have the beat. Oh, okay. So yeah, you write and try to match. The yeah. Beat so too. I I usually like. Just write, and then I'll will find a beat that that goes with it that can be like they become like morphing into each other kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So if I don't have a the full song laid out, I'll like have the first verse ready, and then I'll write the uh, second verse to the once, beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it catches on. Yeah. Side, so yeah. like the first one fit perfectly enough, then I write the second one to the beat. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> this song I actually wrote like start to finish, just without a beat, like just the ideas, everything. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was and and so I. <laughs> Um, didn't want to find a beat for it because I could tell that there were ideas that I wanted to uh, to draw out yeah. without having a pre-structured yeah, yeah, format. Yeah. And I figured it was no time like <laughs> like this song to, to dive into that because I knew I was ready for it. I think that was just intimidating yeah. a little bit Absolutely. But um, that, to man, that was... come into a producer's world and like, tell them what to do. It was a perfect fucking beat, though, because it was a great transition at the end, too. Like, oh, you know, yeah. like, yeah, it was... That's, it's still, get, like, that, the way I still remember when we, like, executed that exactly how I had envisioned because basically we built it out with a, a sample from the... Uh, the leading track of one of my favorite like alternative artists mm -hmm. albums like alternative rock indie rock and the song's called what's the matter <laughs> yeah. and excuse me sorry shout out milo green by the way milo green, <laughs> milo hey, green yeah shout out to you. um you smoke one to milo green yeah for yeah. real <laughs> that there's a oh, talented group but yeah. um but the the guitar sound or it, it's almost like sounded like bells and guitar and it was very disconcerting it was very like yeah it, it sets a very tense <laughs> mood immediately just hearing it yeah and they kind of um i'm gonna say it, it gets you that yeah. it gets you ready like you know what i'm saying like the, the title warfare and like the beat it goes it yeah. plays hand in hand yo yo so <clears throat> that's what's up man what, all right so anti-fake though like let's let's talk about your first project like the title anti fake, you know, that can kind of go in a lot of ways. But yeah. what did you mean, um, calling it like naming it anti fake? So the concept kind of emerged before I decided that I was going to have it be continual, like series. So I've okay. carried that name through the second project and then the okay. third one that I'm working on now, um, with the parenthetical yeah. kind of afterward to it. Yeah. So the full title being uh, anti fake, the tape, the letter. Okay. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so yeah. anti fake being, I, what I love is that everybody could take their own thing from it, but it is exactly what it sounds like. It's absolutely <laughs> everything, um, like in opposition to what's false and to what's fabricated and fake and um, just inauthentic. Yeah, and it's basically just a response to that. Yeah, and not necessarily in any specific context, but really in all the contexts, anywhere yeah, yeah, that yeah. it exists. Yeah. Because um, as we move through life, I think we discover more and more what's uh, part of our foundation that isn't real, that yeah, is yeah, based yeah. on like societal lies and indoctrination and everything like Man. that. So it was really like a big point of frustration. I realized that everything 
that I was writing up until the point where the concept emerged yeah. was kind of a response to to those oh, shit. to those things and elements in society that just aren't real and um in the sense that I, I even was working uh, on a song today with a friend where um, sometimes for ad libs, I'll just rant in the background because so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't talk, really do ad libs. So yeah, I'll just yeah, literally yeah. say stuff. And um, I was saying the so there's the concept hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes I think about the concept of I feel like people lied to lie to easy to fall into a cycle of, of lying and feeling like you have to falsify so um, you your identity. Time, yeah. That was cold. <laughs> Thank you. What? So, um, the people, people lied were, to, lied to. People that were lied to, they yeah. lied to. Oh people lied gosh. to, lied to people. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh. Yeah, that is cold. And I think it's, there. thank you. I yeah. think it's something that like, um, you don't really realize the falsifying that you do in your within your own identity and your own self yeah until you recognize like all your actions like what are they for yeah. what is the yeah. end what is the end of this like why is it a reason that i feel like i have to um encode everything yeah. within my identity in a Start certain self, way self-evaluating yeah like, you know, compared, and it's yeah. and it's i feel like it's just a defense mechanism really or mm -hmm. like a reaction reactionary to all of the bullshit that's fed into our environments yeah, and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. where we really have to do that, like cleansing on our own terms. I think artists do a really good job of that through their art. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so all that to say that um, yeah. it's easy to recognize. I, I think it was uh, one of the, one of the dudes in Vibe Lane, shout out Vibe Lane, shout but I think it, I, I want to say it's, it's Tarek. Uh, and he has a yeah, Tarek, and he yeah. has a line that says like, Sorry, "It's Tarek. easy, um, so much love. It's easy to spot the fake shit." Yeah. So like when you know um, around <laughs> like, you what's real and yeah, when whether, everybody just saying, "Love, man, I'm loving this shit. I love this <laughs> shit. Yo, man, I love you, brother." Like, oh, right. Okay. It's yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. That, I think that goes for knowledge. That goes for. Um, like energies just yeah. within within environments, but um, but really knowledge and just certain structures like where you can tell this is aiming to heal and mm -hmm. to cleanse, and this is the opposite of that. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, man, this, and talk fake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fucking I get it. Man. That <laughs> you shit feel me? So dope, man. Yeah. <laughs> so we're anti all the fake shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, the tape yeah. the letter is really just um, mm -hmm. as it emerged, I was like not wanting to or c caring to yeah. decide if, is this a tape or an album yeah, or like yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it's like and d defining it by the title um and giving myself the option to have ones that come after so yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. and the, the letter component being like i wanted everything that i was writing to be as authentic as if you were like reading a letter from someone mm. or they were reading it aloud or that, like anytime I got now, stuck. What's what now? You got anti anti fake uh, the letter and the tape the letter. Okay, the tape and the letter, and now what? What's the second uh, project? So the one following that is mm. anti fake the letter the memory. The letter the memory. So Ooh. it it basically dives into like what are the circumstances mm -hmm. that arrived us at these emotions that yeah. were displayed in the first project. Okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, hey. uh, Y'all got to, man, check out the full projects, man. It's like, I love how people, like, you know, like, uh, Lupe Fiasco is a perfect example of who did some similar like this. Like, he he made them all, like, cohesive, I guess. Mm. Like, you know, um, his albums, like, Food and Liquor and, like, The Cool. And, like, there was enough, like, they had, they played upon each other, like, mm. a few songs. Like, you know what I mean? You have to listen back, like, oh, shit, that goes with this. Yeah. Like, oh, ah. So, yeah, I fucking love, like, you know, how artists do that shit, so. Yeah. Man, y'all gotta go check it out, man. Anti-fake, man, on Spotify, on, it's on all, platforms. Yeah, all platforms. All platforms, man. Go check it out. Rez Lorraine. It's yo. one word. That's how you find it. Anti anti fake anti fake yeah yeah when I, i'm like i don't know why i'm saying that. Is it is okay. anti or anti i think it's a it's, it's one of those like semantics things yeah, yeah, based yeah, yeah. on how you already pronounced the yeah, word yeah, yeah. and i just i like the anti it sounds so much more anti -fake. like it I sounds feel bigger you. like I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> all right so yo we gonna go ahead and jump into another track um i was and gonna go with mirage forever. forever yeah okay 
man. So, yeah, <clears throat> we need y'all to go ahead and let us know how y'all feel about this. Puff of Pass, Super Poor, man. We're going to be back at y'all after this, all right? Cheer. uncomfortable looking at it exactly. but like i want to keep looking yeah, i don't yeah. want to figure out what the fuck is yeah, yeah. going on that's exactly <laughs> what it is. but yo hey i hope you guys enjoyed that track though uh mirage is forever um coming off the anti-fake <laughs> track <laughs> you know what i'm saying by rez lauren yo so <clears throat> man i really want to know like you know like because it, it sounded like that song like it was about to progress into like you know some it's, it's not like, which I love about dope artists is like, you know, in their albums, they can kind of, you know, take you on the ride. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It's not just like straightforward, like, okay, all bangers or it's just like, you know, straight yeah. R&B or anything, like, you know, and it sounds like that song was building up to something. Like, is there yeah. any type of progression, like, in, within, like, your album or your oh, project? Abso or, absolutely. Yeah, can you um, talk about that? So, coming from Warfare to... Um, what comes after it? Yeah. It, it, it really builds. There's a, a progression of three songs Warfare, mm -hmm. 
Hunger is the name on the album, but it was a, a, originally a single as Are You Hungry yeah. and um, Phoenix. And those are all like very intense songs where I'm saying there's a lot being oh, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I wanted to give like a reprieve and it just so happens that, um, so the song that comes after Warfare is like, was the fastest I'd ever rapped until that point. Mm. And it's a lot, a lot of this, the frustration that was evident in Warfare, yeah. like really comes to a head. Um, and that next song. Yeah, and the yeah. next song. I actually released that one first and then Warfare as the second single, but I wanted on the uh-huh. project to reverse it so that you could see kind of how that, instead of having it smooth out, have yeah. it like build up to yeah. all that frustration. Um, and then Phoenix takes that frustration and um, ties it in with like my my own identity. Yeah. Um, but Mirage is Forever, as you just heard, is um, a deviation from all of that. It, it, it's just like, now it, it's turning, it's like, it's taking you to like the next chapter, kind of like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it was uh, it was recorded in the same session as Hunger, or Are You Hungry? Which if you listen to it, you'll understand like what I'm talking about when it was really a reward. Yeah. Getting to record that and slow down and like just relax and like really feel versus be in that space of like anger like Mm. just pure anger Mm. um and so with that um you get like a little break from it and then it's true kind of returns to the to the same sentiment that i think was expressed in phoenix which is the song right before mirage is forever where it's like we're back to this like now i feel like i have to defend myself almost like it's i would say mirage is forever is is a turning point in the sense of um what's being said is like me prior to it is like me figuring this out and mm-hmm. like and uh, um everything that i'm saying out and like hmm interesting like i'm just like diving further in yeah and then roger's brother breaks that up and then it goes okay now i feel like i have to like let you know <laughs> that that i know what's good <laughs> now like <laughs> hell yeah so man i want to ask you this because this is a more of a reoccurring question that i ask like you know a lot of the guests um, mm-hmm. within this year uh what do you feel is missing from the scene out here and what would you like to see like within the scene that we're in you know let me take a second (laughs) with that question um because coming from singular angles like my viewpoint Mm -hmm. and you have everybody's viewpoint that's maybe been involved for a longer progression of time. Mm-hmm. So I'm a native uh, to Arizona, born in Phoenix, but okay. um, it wasn't until I was in Tucson for school and spending time out there that I really developed my passion for um, poetry and music making and stuff. I was always writing poetry and stuff like that, right, but performing. I really fell in, not performing, but um, mm-hmm. just writing to myself. And then um, in in Tucson is when I really fell in love with hip hop just yeah. and discovered all of the artists that began to inspire me and like influence yeah. me going forward. Um, and so with that entering, you know, 2017 and still a ton of growth ahead for me personally. Yeah. Um, but entering into a scene and just feeling it out, I've always sort of felt like an outsider slowly yeah. Um, becoming embraced and welcomed into the scene. I get you. So it's hard to make critiques. What I would love to see and yeah. what I recognize in other cities um, where I've been able to get my feet wet in the art scene and stuff mm-hmm. is um, a sense of camaraderie where everyone wants to lend yeah. their skills in service of themselves, but for everyone too. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... There may be a lot of people out here that feel that way, but yeah. it's not necessarily like cool to like let that be known. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like it's it's I think there is always a sense of competition in this um, this sphere of hip hop and mm. music making and things like that. But of course, of course. Um, so it's not to say that oh we should make that less, but it's I think it um, overshadows and becomes assumed that like somebody that I meet, they're really tight. It's assumed that um, I have to now compete with them rather Mm -hmm. than um, we have something to offer each other. Yeah. And so I think if it were to be um, more interconnected web where it doesn't feel like everyone's against everyone, because obviously that's 
what the larger power archetypes would want for hip hop to constantly yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's so many patterns. Yeah. Um, that's what sells, but it's also, you know, Erica Badu for her birthday. Um, re- Actually, I don't think it was related to her birthday, but happy belated birthday, Erica Badu. Okay. Um, September 26th. She for <laughs> <laughs> Badu World Market has a hoodie that God says, damn, yeah. uh, that yeah. says hip hop is bigger than the government. Yeah. And so, it really makes you coach. think because if it, there was that natural inclination towards interconnectedness mm-hmm. um, in throughout, it would be a, such a huge, you know, shift. threat and a shift <laughs> yeah. against the the those larger power the, archetypes. So the ones who are just making you know hands over fucking fist like with money and that shit, and it's just like the control. Yeah, truly, I, I definitely understand. Um, one another question that I kind of like, you know, love to get everyone's opinion on. You know, <clears throat> it is the year twenty twenty, and like you know that goes that has so many meanings. But we would love to know what does twenty twenty mean to you? Whether the year, the number, like what does twenty twenty mean mm-hmm. to you? Um, I am big into doubles in okay. numbers, so I'm always picking up my phone after not having touched it for like 45 minutes and it's like 3.33 or like 4.44 <laughs> <laughs> it was 2.22 like always post random screenshots in my story just so that other people even if they miss the time they get to experience that synchronicity yeah. whatever they're doing when they happen to see the story or whatever yeah. um, so I think it's it's not exactly like that like it's not like it's 22.22 or something like yeah. that but recognition of the fact that the 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 the, the, the millennial c- component of the year tw- the Two thousand mm-hmm. is doubled. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty, I think, um, speaks to the opportunity that's available for um, really things to shift into place yeah. Um, yeah. this year. What and and it speaks to like if you put in that twenty, you're gonna you're gonna start to see that twenty <laughs> emerge this year. Hell yeah! You know, um, that's kind of what I've seen. It's like, I think it's. Looking at, um, and I've, I think I've written about this recently too, mm-hmm. um, but looking at any one year or like the new year, for example, I always say like, you don't need to wait until the new year to start yeah. whatever it is that you want. <laughs> Same thing with the new decade, life, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's um, it's indicative of all that can take place this year if you've been planting your seeds and tending to them appropriately. Because yeah, yeah. if you smother your seeds, they're not going to grow either. If you've just been waiting, 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 waiting for yeah. seeds you planted 15 minutes ago to <laughs> sprout, like, that's going to be a tough it's time for you. <laughs> You're going to be there for a minute in a frustrating yeah, motherfucker. For real. Too, so, yeah, I think it's a good time to just, any anytime something... Uh, seems to start over from mm-hmm. the top like a new decade a new yeah. um set of years um it's always important to look at okay what seeds have i been working with what have i been um yeah. planting that maybe would start to surface now that mm-hmm. i you know because i i was i think it's um interesting to look i always use plant imagery in my writing and like petals blooming yeah, you know, yeah, growth yeah. um <laughs> in that sense because i love giving a visual to it but, um, but, ooh, ooh this will happen from time oh, to time. Shit, I just lost yeah. my train of thought, bro. <laughs> like, immediately out of thin air. Um, she ain't hit the blood. I know, I hit the, <laughs> I hit the fan on that one. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, so, so the plant imagery yeah. and stuff like that. Oh, like, and how it, it's, seeds, it's not like about, like, to... one plant at a time. Yeah. I mean, it, it is when you're, when you're in that space. Yeah. But you got to think about each plant has multiple branches if you want to be a part of a garden, you have to be able to attend to multiple things at any given time. And so, um, I guess to answer your question, 2020, just continue the good processes that have led you to growth and blooming and yeah. all of that. And then recognize what in your garden has maybe not responded to yeah. what it is that you're giving it. Or maybe it's, um, it's just not an appropriate practice for you. Um, and so it's kind of shriveled or whatever. Weed those out so you can have new space. Nah, I'll, be, nah, I'll, be, <laughs> like, I, I'll definitely like feel that shit. It's like, you know, tend to the seeds that you've sold already, man. Like, they may be blossoming now. Like, so. 
2020, man. Hey, <clears throat> we got Rez Loren in the building, man. This is chapter 117. Rolling with the Rolling Stoner, man. We need y'all to hit them like button, hit them subscribes. Subscribe button. I don't know why to put an S on the end. <laughs> <laughs> hit the subscribe button. You know what it is, goddammit. Yo, got Rez Loren in the building. So we're going to go ahead and jump into one more track, and then I got some stoner questions we're going to ask. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to let you pick them because... I okay. thought we had two left, so... Yeah, oh, we uh, end off with one last track. So oh, we're going to play bet. this track, and then bet. I'm going to ask you a stunt question. Bet. Yep, yep, um, yep. And then we're going to end Well, in that off. case, so. I know which one we'll end on then. Okay. Um, so right now, we'll do Fall In. Fall In? Let's keep the All progression right. going. So, yo, this track right here is called Fall In. You guys enjoy this. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Puff or pass. Sip or pour, all right? Chill. It's my favorite. Hell yeah. I love okay. that. <laughs> Dripping out my mind Then I'll stretch their hands Like they Like they don't know why We've been seeing red Started going blind We've been seeing red Started going blind So I had to that's why I had to take my time with the answers. Pam was on the cliff taking chances. Echoes had me stick up in the head. I was casting stone, getting sideways glances. And warm bodies, warm bodies think they know something. Changing hands with these blood advances. Even heard them say they don't cost like bankrolls, saving romances. But you can't buy respect, fuck a lease on life. Been here more than twice, fuck a million more. Finally found my family after chose my war. Say it. I don't know about you, I don't know about God. It's time these talking heads start choking on a lie. The one before us both, the one they poured in concrete. See me sever stone, the lie you made is not me. Built inside the home, watching bodies bleed. Mama didn't care, daddy couldn't see. Fake go choke on lies, get no butter free. We got family ties, we got golden wings. We got family ties, we got golden wings. And it is what it is on the biz with the biz. I'm a chin tuck, pissed up bitch with the shits. You can stick with the script, we can rip what you did. If it's not too sick, then it's not gonna stick. And it is what it is on the biz with the biz. I'm a chin tuck, pissed up bitch with the shits. You can stick with the script, we could rip what you did. If it's not too slick, then it's not gonna stick. I'm a macho man, I'm a bent up kid. It's a lot to be lit in a cut like this. I could lob you the win, I could rob you again. I could talk non stop, I could call on a friend. Obvious choice to the chosen few. I'ma ride till the end what real ones do. If you hate my guts, then that's a lot on you. Still, I make amends, cause I'm not like you. Never play pretend, lest the prey is you. If I say I will, what you think I do? And if we're all just energy floating into view from time, from God, well, this right on cue. And it is what it is on the biz with the biz. I'm a chin tuck, pissed up, bitch with the shits. You can stick with the script, we can rip what you did. If it's not too sick, then it's not gonna stick. I got questions now, ask how do you do Ask how's Rocky, did you meet his crew Did you smoke big gas, did he co-sign too How you ain't so cocky, what they give to you Is it big boy checks with some big boy shoes You still look the same, no one look like you Why can't you hang out, why can't you come through You don't post no more, you still always do Didn't mean what I said, how I spoke to you didn't know you had all these links you do Oh, how you hurt me, will you never learn If they don't deserve her, I don't know what's worse How you desert me, seeing cities burn World's already lonely, why you need these words? World's already lonely, why you need these words? Body's gonna lie Like a hundred times I can build the shadows where they are dripping up my mind Yo, I hope y'all enjoyed that track right there, man. 
Rolling with the Rolling Stoner, man. Yo, we back at it. That track was called Fall In by Rez Loren, man. Please go check out the anti-fake track, man. Uh, tapes and letters, right? Uh, anti-fake the tape, the letters. Anti-fake yeah. the tapes, the letters, yo. Yeah. Go check it out on all platforms, yo. For, but if you for, just type in anti-fake, the two projects, as, as long as it's one word, the two projects should just pop right up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Soon so, to be three? <laughs> hey, let's get it, man. Can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> So, yo, Rez Warren, yo, we're going to ask, uh, this is the segment right here. Um, it's called the Random Stoner Questions. It's, okay. I'll be making up different names for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the rolling random stoner questions. <laughs> yeah, no, but random questions, though. So, um, you know, just please add, uh, answer as honestly and as quick as possible. Okay. okay. Oh, and it's quick, too. Okay. Good well, time. I mean, you ain't got to go. <laughs> but, like, you know, so we can get thrown sometimes. Yeah, for sure. All right, so uh, first question though says, uh, "Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or to your funeral?" Wedding for sure, elope guaranteed. So no what like I'm no not getting married, so that makes that question a lot easier. But yeah, okay, right. that would be. Would you rather ever? Would you rather never have to lose your keys again, or never, or your phone again? Wait, say it again. So. Would you rather never have to lose your phone again or your keys again? Phone. Your phone? You don't. Oh, so you, we got spare you keys. keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and shit. phones. I. It's, I just feel like that's what I'm more often losing. I've never lost my you. keys like out and about, except oh, like shit. maybe one time. Yeah, that no, no, yeah. Was, like that. crazy. <laughs> I'll lose them around my house and it's annoying as fuck. Yeah. But I just solve that by like trying to put them in the same place. I feel you, man. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, man, I feel like I got like little ghosts and shit that be just fucking with me, like uh, this, this place real. and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like hey, yeah. Yeah, I've left my phone in too many cars to just yeah. be like. Oh yeah, that's happening a lot of times. Yeah. So uh, this one, this next question says, um, it's kind of kind of crazy. Uh, you are a cult leader. <laughs> a cult leader. Okay. A cult leader. What is your cult? Truth. A truth a cult? Truth cult. Oh, y'all gonna be some assholes. <laughs> <y'all>. <laughs> Not even assholes, just like, if it's you, like, you gotta if, say if, the truth. Because like, 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 I, I know yeah, my, my sources to go to yeah. in, in terms of like, um, because there's, there's cult of lies out I'm there right say, now. Yeah, yeah, but if you so, like, always had to tell the truth, like the honest was, truth all day, every day. I mean, that's, that's, that's uh, everybody's gonna be, be assholes. Like, that's true. Yeah, well, yeah true. I would say tr- dicks, make, like, yeah. here's what we'll do: truth and peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna, it's gonna need a peace, little bit. truth. That sounds truth. like a fucking white lady truth. cult. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oh, I'm glad you said it. Yeah, yeah I said it. It's true. Because that's real, man. I was like, yo, I ain't going to say that and put you on the spot. But <laughs> you said it, so for sure. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, yo. That's just I would never have a cult, by the way. No, I'd yeah, probably be okay. the one that follows a fucking cult, for all I know. All right, this question says, uh, would you rather be able to read minds or be able to see through walls? Now the stipulations, because everybody would be like, "Oh, so what do you mean?" Like, so for minds, if you're able to read minds, this if anyone comes within six feet of your, and it's just automatic, automatic, yeah. you don't have any like yeah, yeah, control it, it, over it. It'd just be one person at a time, so you ain't going crazy and shit. Like, oh god, damn, yeah, I'm in a, at this party, and but I and, and you think like, and no, and, so. and it's you think you get to hear what they're saying, you get that the, exact you get to moment. Read their mind, yeah. There's no like switch, like you can't have a break one day. Nah, nah, ain't no okay. switch off. What's the other so, option? Or see through walls. And it's every wall you look at, you see through it. Yeah, within um, like definitely, feet. definitely mind reading then. Read mind. I don't think if, if it's gonna be a, a something that's like inconvenient and kind of shitty, I'd rather it be useful. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> like <laughs> you don't think the see through walls? I think that would be less useful. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> hear what people are thinking when they're by you. That's crazy. <laughs> Cause I could fuck with yeah. people, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> I, I probably like, wouldn't. But I don't know. I, you can fuck with people like see if, if someone's thinking too. something, something crazy. They're like, yeah. oh, so that's what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like yo, you gonna run into that too many times, and you just eventually. Yeah, I'm gonna, go oh, get, I would go. I would go crazy. Yeah, that's gosh. what I'm saying. So I'm like, I would. Ah, I can't pick me there because that's not the rules. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not the rules. But yeah. I would. I couldn't do the walls because you can't unsee things. You can forget about things you heard because that's just like. 
could be anything, but you cannot unsee things. Yeah. But like you can't unhear things either though. Yeah, but I think it's like I think yo, it's, you think that shit? Oh, you a weird motherfucker. Yeah. Like, yo, but see, then like, that's useful because you don't like, fucking stay away from that person. And they'll be like, like, oh, I wonder why. What if, what if, but what if that's like one of your best friends though? Like, I would figure it out. I'd be like, like so fuck? here's the thing, right? Like, I've been yo. getting this feeling. I told you before that I'm psychic, yeah. right? I've been getting this feeling that you feel XXX about me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's talk about it because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what, the what are they going to do? Deny it? But what if it ain't nothing like malicious against you? They just got some weird fetish that some you just can't. Fetish? Yeah, like, they um, like to eat nachos on, like, you know, old women's toes or some shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, you can see that shit. Like, I'm all in support yeah, of people's ooh, freaky like, habits as long as they don't know. hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> you feel right, me? Right, like, yeah, that's yeah. on your time. Yeah, that's yeah, your you business. Your thing. But, like, some, something that's just like, wow, I, I, I can't un, I can't unimagine that. I mean, I'm like, sure it would affect those friendships. Like, but... I'm having dreams now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know if it's that deep. I think yeah. I got deeper <laughs> shit that I dream about than nacho toes. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple more questions like, <laughs> this uh question this one says it's a little bit a little bit morbid but okay if there was one body part one extremity that you have to get rid of that you get, not really have to get rid of but you have to live without what would it, what would it be it, like as far as like a hand eye nose uh you're gonna uh, hate me for saying this but my toes. uvula the little dangly thing in the back of your throat because you don't really need it Wait, that way, I guess it is. It's, it's, it's like, it's like, your gag reflex, yeah, but like, yeah. that's, okay, that's pause. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I just mean like, um, I might have to get it removed anyways. So like, <laughs> oh, yeah. so I think I'm about to be living without it anyway. So wait, hold on. Like, wait, is that an extremity though? Like, that's not really. I have a dangled that's down. A, yeah, but it's not on the exterior though. Oh, okay. Like, you well. Know what I'm saying? Like, on the exterior, some that, I would definitely. Some that society is gonna be like, uh, okay, we're gonna have to get used to that. You I know would what I mean? <laughs> um, say, hold on, I might have to. Look. Yeah. My right pinky toe. It gotta be your foot or your what? Your That's hand, fucked your hand, up. Your foot, your eye, your your uh, ear, the whole ear. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, it can't be like a fingernail, an eyelash, an uh, eyebrow. Me, I said my left eye. I was about to say it'd probably be an eye, honestly. Yeah. I just go like one right eye. I mean, it suck like a motherfucker, but like I, I mean, still have full motions and shit. Like, you make know. a coat with Fetty Wap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <My face. laughs> make a coat with Fetty Wap. Damn. <laughs> with the left eye, always, man. I, I have a patch though, like for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. I still have a patch. patch, man. I'm a man. I'm a motherfucking pirate in this bitch. Damn, uh, I mean, you can't do toes. <clears throat> Ugh. Huh? I'm mad that you can't do toes. Cause left because the right yeah, no, nah, that's toes easy though. Dominant. Like, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, I'm like, oh, I easily uh-huh. take a toe, like, pow, like, go ahead and pop that motherfucker off real quick. <laughs> but, uh, last question though, this one says, <clears throat> Would you rather be able to run at 100 miles per hour or be able to fly at 10 miles per hour? Can I get that lighter again? Damn, that's Sorry. hard. That's hard. That's a good one yeah. because, like. I have I have flying dreams all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like I even have I even wrote about it like one of my recent songs was just like uh, guess something unfulfilled. Yeah, guess yeah, I yeah. got more in me because it apparently means like you still got oh that's not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you still got more shit to do, but um, but running just like with the that that fast mm. with like how uh. The world is going right now might be useful to just be able to like be useful for other people if yeah. you can run that fast. Yeah, cause flying at ten miles an hour. Yeah. That's not very fast at all. That's just you're just floating. <laughs> people think you're a fucking ghost. I'm just <laughs> shoot you out. For real, yo. Yeah, so I'd rather be able to run. I would run. love to be able to fly, but you know, I'll just save it for my dreams. Oh yeah, hey man. I feel you on that shit. I'm running for sure. Like, yeah, I'm not wasting that talent. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's hey. faster than you're legally allowed to drive. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely like going to the store. Yeah. And yeah, you could like put a costume on to make it look like you're an, like, like an animal. So, <laughs> oh, so no one will be like, holy shit, there goes a 100 mile per hour person. Oh, Let's fucking just, kill them. Like, did I just see the fucking flash right through here? What the yeah, fuck? Well. Nah, man. This Some shit, superhero costume. What the fuck am I supposed to yo? For sure. No, nah, man. Hey, thank you for uh, participating, Noah Rez, Lauren. Yo, I appreciate you coming through. Yes, sir. <laughs>
Can you please tell the people before we get about it here where they can find you? You know what they can expect. You know with the uh, anti fake. Uh, yeah. The third project. The third like, you know, for sure. And everything and like yeah, what you got going on? Um. So, Instagram I guess is the the way these days. So you can find me on Instagram at Res Don't Die because a little fun fact: Res is all the words that Res are a part. R E S is a part of. So it's yeah. like respect. Don't die responsibility don't die okay like, yeah, okay stuff like that like so that. it's not about me because i'll probably this body will die one day but um anyhow then uh i'm on all streaming platforms you can search res lauren on all of them um find the project anti-fake the tape the letter anti-fake the letter the memory so you can get ready it's not coming anytime soon but i will say the name because i'm excited about it It'll be anti-fake, the memory, the moment. Mm. So you can expect that um, within the next year or so. <laughs> it's writing right now, but before yeah, that yeah, happens, yeah. you'll be seeing a bunch of visuals yeah. from these last two projects. So yeah, that's yeah. what we're working on right now. Um, really excited. So YouTube, just search Res Lauren. Yeah. I'm a topic because of uh, my distribution, puts yeah, my music yeah. on as a topic, but I also have my videos on like, yeah. Um, my own channel, so. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you once again. Though, yes, coming over. of course. Appreciate you. But yo, man, Francisco Phoenix, rolling with the Rolling Stoner, man, chapter 117. We need y'all to hit them like buttons, hit them subscribe buttons, man. Let the people know what's going down. Every uh, every week, man, we got a dope, uh, dope individual coming through, man, just to chop it up with your boy, man, and just enjoy some dope music from upcoming artists, so. Need y'all to go ahead and uh, vibe out with your boy every week, man. You know what it is. So, we're going to go ahead and end off on this last track. Yes, sir. Uh, this last track. Anti-fake. Anti-fake. Hey. The title shit. track of this boy. And he's the last one before the outro, so uh, I snuck it at the end. But, yeah. Hell, oh, yeah. Out. Any last words uh, for the people? Um, don't lie. Flying's <laughs> <laughs> whack. You're gonna have to deal with it eventually. So it's gonna come back. It's Just gonna break at some point. It's yeah. gonna break, man. That's for real. Yeah, for real. So yo, y'all enjoy this. We uh about it here. <laughs> peace, peace. What's the tree to hearts? Take me to the shade. We could dream or share slumber in its wake. Is it free to love? Is it free to play? Think I need a love I need for you to stay. Money changed the situation, can't change me. Make the money add up maps, trace a ripple in the deep. Waves crash, tides take, no you can't break me. Let's see, let us read a rhyme and write us make we. And this shit's too real, it's got me feeling like God, but I'm not, she's just waiting outside. I could trip a few times, pick up a few scars, but she'll never catch me fronting, no lie. See, heat makes the paint peel, wake up then faint. This here's where the saints kneel, say it, fuck a fake. Luck is never late, suckers can't relate. Tuck and roll, never leave a dollar on my plate. On your grave, what you think? Look at all the clouds we chase while the rain moves at its own pace. Streaking pain, watch them sneak, make them pay. Taking turns, burn a snake, hurt the rubber 30 seconds to the tank. And if I never loved you, I'm a fake. We know what it was. We know what's at stake. Trust you, I would wait. Lay me in the sun. Take me on a date. I know I could run to you, so roll to me, it's fun for you. Fight with me, don't wanna fight in vain. I can feel the changes drain me. I cannot explain how the silence made me crazy. Maybe I was made for pain. Maybe I should play the game. Maybe islands walk for water, lonely all the same. People call me lazy, really, I should call them lame. Any method to the madness, so the madden felt a flame. And if it matters much to you, I'll never speak your name. Talk of days, we come at nights when you and I both laid awake. And who am I to love again? Who could lie to say I can? You could die and I could live, but living won't pretend. Who's gonna rise like I demand? If you could try and if you could plan, if you ruin me like this, it's you and I until the end. If I never loved you, I'm a fake. We know what it was. We know what's at 
just like formal and we can just collaborate on uh, with him and, uh, and I can just collaborate on what we think would be really good for me in the soul. Take me on a day because I'm taking a serious I know I could run to so prove to me it's fun for you. Fight for me, don't want to fight in vain. Like, particularly video content. So I find that.